Peace and blessings to you, dear friends. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine of Hippo. Saint Monica is particularly known for her perseverance in prayer. She is the patron saint of wives, mothers, conversions, alcoholics, and abuse victims. Let us look to Saint Monica's example of persistence that God will never abandon us, even in the hardest of times. This is Sister Daisy, bringing you today's reflection from the Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming, but understand this. If the owner of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. Who then is the faithful and wise slave? whom his master has put in charge of his household, to give the other slaves their allowance of food at the proper time. Blessed is that slave whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all his possessions. But if that wicked slave says to himself, My master is delayed, then he begins to beat his fellow slaves and eats and drinks with drunkards. The master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour that he does not know. He will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Friends, as we see in today's parable, it suggests exactly the opposite of what some advertisers of leisure, ease, and comfort want to sell to us. While such propaganda promotes distraction by appearing to offer relief from the burden of our usual occupation, the call of Jesus is to be vigilant and focus on one's responsibilities. The period of grace, which the parable portrays as the time of waiting for the Master's return, is a time for engaging in mission and not for pursuing one's personal whims. Dear friends, life on earth is not an aimless existence. The Creator who has put us here is not a capricious deity, but the God of purpose. He has a general plan in which we have an important part to play. We are trusted stewards, and our lives acquire deeper meaning as we dedicate them to the accomplishment of God's purposes. And so today, we ask the grace to stay focused and not to allow the allurements of this passing world to divert our intention from the real reason why we are here. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. 
protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Colomson, pray for us.